Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, midval 33 Tarot, which is a review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current, their overall energy, and then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. We'll see. Jumping into the Scorpio, though, a little bit, a little bit interesting, but also at the same time a little tad bit confusing energy. Um, but jumping into this, what they do show me, they themselves feel a little bit confused, possibly a little bit stuck as to what to think or what to do regarding the situation or possibly the circumstances. Um, they are kind of showing me, though. Oh, geez, they're kind of. They're not fully 100% fulfilled or happy. They're just more so kind of meh, like content. They're, they're, they're okay, but they're not like happy and fulfilled. Um, I don't know what's going on with this, but I feel like they also are working on something themselves, regarding themselves. Because moving forward, they are gaining perspective on all sides of the situation, which is bringing in quite a bit of clarity and kind of straightening some things out for them. And at the same time, they're ultimately saying they are willing to kind of find out where things lead, even though they don't know where this is going to go long term wise, or at least just say for the future. Um, that being said, though, there is some sort of financial recognition here coming in for them. So it could be just recognition, increase in pay, promotion, job opportunity, those sorts of things. But that being said, they're sitting with that energy thinking about what their next step or plan of action is going to be. And this is fascinating because it almost feels like all of a sudden, they don't know what their truth is or what a truth is. It feels like they're not having any type of further breakthroughs here in understanding or even clarity regarding the situation or circumstances. And this is causing their, their grasp on money to become even tighter. And I mean tight. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can kind of find. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's um, they got a lot going on for themselves, but they could be a boss, CEO, that type of thing, or just kind of have their own business or company. Um, they do show up in some type of position of success and status, having having made it, having made it up there. Um, at the same time, that they're kind of saying, um, hmm. I have so much going on for myself, I kind of need to just take a step back and kind of even give my thoughts a little bit of a break. More so just, you know, look at everything first before kind of making a thought or, you know, an opinion or a judgment. Um, whew, yeah, that, 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 that energy of them being content, they're ultimately saying, hmm, because I'm in, okay, so it's their emotions, they're emotional driven, emotionally driven. Okay, so they're absolutely dedicated and committed to figuring something out for themselves. So it's an energy of, they're kind of saying, why am I not more happy? Why am I not more fulfilled? Let me do what I can to understand this. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it may be money, money, money problems. 
Because them being able to gain clarity on all this situation is definitely pointing in the direction of, okay, now let me kind of work on some sort of new project or endeavor here regarding finances. Okay, so it was understanding. They were wanting understanding. And there's the opportunity. <laughs> like I said, they're like, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of financial opportunity at the end of this road, but I'm willing to go forward and find out. Oh, gee. And just like that. Just boop, boop switch there's a switch I, don't, I mean fast they found out they found out that there was a financial opportunity here that brought them some sort of income but immediately following that they're kind of like thank you and i'm emotionally checked out and done so they were they weren't even fully 100 on this board with this emotionally but they were trying to get there and then they found out like mm, just not it not feeling it Yeah, and here's the thing. They're not even communicating or saying anything to you about it. Because there is there is some sort of connection here between the two of you. But they're like, do I want to say something about this or do I not want to say something about this? So they're, they're emotionally walking away and then they're kind of like just not going to say anything. <laughs> wow, mum is the word. Mum is the word. Then... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This energy. This energy. They're like, I don't know what my truth is, but hopefully they're not living a lie. But they're ultimately saying, I don't know what the truth is, but I'm going to just continue keeping my head down and focusing on work. And it's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're saying because money is so tight and difficult right now, um, they know they got to, they know, they know they're being led to this energy of making a decision for themselves about whether this is it or whether this is not it, whether this is something they want, whether it's something they don't want. Um, they know they got to decide at the same time, because of money, they're also kind of stalling a little bit on making that decision about whether they want to choose this or not, um, or commit themselves to this line of work or commit themselves to you. Don't exactly know because there is some sort of communication here, but like I said, there's no communication there. It's fascinating how this is kind of playing out. Um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone we do have showing up, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, and that's it. Goodbye.